Greetings. This is a Sony Watchman FDL E22U portable TV. It's a two or two and a half inch screen, I think. I bought it a few years back when it was on special offer. Well, it's only got an analog tuner and no AV input. And now the UK switched to digital transmission. That makes it as much use as a one-legged man in an ass kicking contest. So what I'm going to try and do now is try and convert it into a video monitor by adding this cable. One problem I've got to overcome is the channel indicator which because of the lack of TV channels will constantly sweep back and forth. So hopefully I can get rid of that. What I need to do first is use a test signal which I can provide using a DVD player. I'm going to try and get that signal out from the TV and display up on that. At the moment that's displaying through SCART. I'm going to try and pick the signal out with a video cable to prove that I've got the right point. I'm using that old scan DVD player as a video source because I've added a RF modulator into it. which is output in there directly into a hole in the lanyard which doubles up as the antenna. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Here's the video wire hooked up. The hissing noise you can hear is because I haven't hooked up the audio wire yet so that's still connected to the tuner. All I've done so far is disconnected pin 18 which is the video output from that chip and connected this wire in its place. So instead of the tuner output going in it's my own video output. Now to do the audio wire. Right, that's the video and audio connections fitted, but as you can see the tuner sometimes kicks in. So I need to get rid of that as well. There we go. No power to the tuner bar chip, no tuner bar on the screen. But there is another issue with this monitor. If we set it to 60Hz mode, it rolls. It doesn't like it. Now, looking on the net for the data sheets for the A71-2980 uh, LCD controller, doesn't turn up a data sheet for that, but it does turn up the service manuals for the FDL22 and the FDL-E22. And comparing the two, there's a difference one of them has got a chip in position R425, it's a zero ohm link. That's in the European one. The American one doesn't have that. Removing that chip does seem to switch this monitor into PAL60 mode. So the next job is to fit the switch. Those with an FTL22 may be able to cut the tracks and bodge using the VHF UHF selector as a 50-60Hz switch. Those with an FDL E22 haven't got that luxury so we're going to try and fit one. I've managed to fit one in this location under the battery cover. So I can just solder these two wires here, cover it with tape, Run them round to position R425, having removed R425 of course. Resolder the metal shielding, making sure that the diffuser for the LCD is still in there because when you take the shielding off, if you tip it forward, the LCD falls forward and the diffuser falls out. So make sure that's back in. And here we have it, still rolling. But if I reach round now and flick the switch on the back, 
60 hertz PAL. As you can see I can now switch this back into 50 hertz mode and it's rolling again and another flick of the switch and we're back. Right, let's get the lid on. And there we have it, all converted. No more analog tuner, just audio and video, the choice of 50 or 60 hertz modes.